Hi everyone, welcome back to Dave's Math Channel. I'm your host David Tear. Um, I was going to continue with my series on calculus today. My next video on calculus is going to be on how to compute the derivatives of the trig functions, but that that's a pretty that's going to be pretty complicated. First, I'm going to have to talk about how to find you know involves limits and stuff. And I didn't really leave myself enough time to do it tonight. So I decided to do something a little different. Um, you guys seem to really like my uh, series on magic squares. So here's here's a video on how you can construct a, a order for magic square. I think about a month ago I talked about how you can construct a magic square of arbitrary odd order. Well, 4 is even, as you know. And I guess 4 is the simplest uh, case I haven't considered yet. So... I mean, here's a picture of an order form magic square, and I'm going to show you how to construct this one. So let's begin. So anyway, uh, here's how you start. I mean, it's very easy. You just start with a 4x4 four four grid. Mark the numbers 1 through 16 in order, you know, uh, the order that you would uh, write in a book, going from left to right and then down the rows, just the normal way to write the order of the squares. And yeah, notice that I've, I've marked the ones that aren't, along the main diagonals in red because I'm going to erase those. So uh, if you like the numbers along the middle of uh, any of the edges, they're all in red and here they go. Now they're gone. Okay, so what do we do? How do we fill those in? Well, it's easy. Now all you have to do is count backwards. So now you can just uh, go from left to right the way we did when we first wrote the numbers. But now we're going to fill in the missing numbers uh, with the numbers we're counting to. So, for instance, 16 is going to be the top left, but there's already a number there. There's a 1 there. So we just leave that alone. But then the ones that don't have a number then there, we just fill in the number we get when we count backwards. And when we do that, we get this square, which is a magic square. Uh, and not only is a magic square, not only do all the rows, columns, and Di and diagonals add up to the magic constant, which is 34. You can check that. But you actually have some additional uh, um, sets of numbers that add up to 34 as well. For instance, the four corners, the four numbers in the middle. Um, and uh, if you take, uh, I guess, uh, if you take any, any uh, edges, uh, the two numbers in the middle of each edge and the opposite edge, like 15, 14, 3, and 2, and uh, if you look at the left and right age, 12, 8, uh, 9, and 5, those all add up to 34. It doesn't have as many, uh, you know, is, is quite as nice properties as the Durer square, which I talked about earlier. That's the one with the most possible number of, uh, you know, uh, sequences of four numbers that add up to 34. But it has, uh, it has some additional ones, so I think it's kind of a nice magic square. And it's easy to construct. So anyway, that's that's my video for tonight. Pretty simple video. Thank you for watching. Long live math, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.